Hello everyone, in this video we're going to do first person crouching and we're also going to implement the not being able to stand up if there is something over the top of you and then once there is nothing over the top of you you can automatically stand up again so the first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to create an input for crouching now this is Unreal Engine 5.4 but I'll also show, show the way you can do it in Unreal Engine 4 but this is 5.4 so I'm just going to use the default first person in actions. I'm going to control D and duplicate jump. I'm going to call it crouch. I'm just going to go in and then I'm going to get rid of these triggers and remove them. Okay. Next thing is input and then IMC default. And here we're going to add a new mapping we're going to find crouch and we're going to give it a control we can add another binding and we can do c and then if you were doing console you could come in here and find it in the gamepad uh, this little icon here when you click on it will allow you to press a button and it will assign it Delete that. Okay. So next we're going to go into the first person character blueprint. And then we can right click and call IA underscore crouch. So now we have this, which is when we press the crouch button we've assigned, then we will do this. Next. I'm going to use gameplay tags for this. If you don't know what gameplay tags is, it's a way of storing tags. So instead of doing like is crouching, so you set the variable and then you check the variable, you can add a gameplay tag, the container, and you can check. It, it's a lot neater. It's a lot. I, I, I prefer it now once I got used to it. So we create a new variable and it's going to be type gameplay tag container so i'm going to call this player gameplay tags oh, gameplay tags and compile so the first thing is we're going to drag out the tags and we're going to pull out and say add gameplay tag the tag we can press this plus sign and the way that these work is you can do periods or dots after each word and it will put it in a category so if i do player dot is crouched you make sure you select the source i'm going to use the default gameplay tags and click add new tag you can now see this player is crouched so what i can do is if I do player dot is dead, it now shows up in this as well. So what I could do is I could check to see if either one of these is valid or all of them are by selecting here. So that means any of these that is selected will work. So we're just going to add is crouched. And we're going to plug that into triggered. Next, we're going to create a timeline. So we can type timeline. I'm going to call this crouch timeline. I'm going to double click into it. We're going to add a new track, float. I'm going to set the length to 0 0.5. That's what I found works nice. I'm going to rename this track to Crouch, lerp, oh, crouch alpha. I'm going to add a key. I'm going to set the time to zero, zero. I'm going to add another key. That's going to be one, one. Uh, no, sorry. It's going to be 0 0.5, one. What I'm going to do now, I can highlight both of these and you can right click and there's different uh, ways of interpolating them 
I'm just going to do auto so it adds a bit of a smooth instead of it being sharp. But you can play around with these how, like how you want. Okay. Next, we're going to plug the gameplay tag into here. From the update, set capsule half height, capsule component. From the half height, we're going to pull out and lerp. The alpha will be the crouch alpha and the a value will be your current capsule height so we can go to the capsule component and see the height is 96 so 96 and then we want a height that we will change to when we crouch so for this i'm going to use 30. while we're here in the viewport the the capsule is quite uh, chunky what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the radius. I'm just going to lower it to like the 30, just so it's a bit more skinnier because the, the player is quite thin. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the check for if there is anything above our heads when we stand up. I, I will do it here but you can put it into like a macro or a function so i'm actually going to put it into a macro just to show so we over here we can click macros so the input we add we're going to add an execute i'm just going to call this execute the output we're going to have another execute and if we name this to then it will get rid of the name and just turn it into a normal execute node. And we're also going to add another, we're going to add a boolean, and that's going to be blocking. So what we can do now is from the execute, we're going to do a capsule trace by channel. So the start, we're going to get actor location. We can plug that into start. The end, we're going to add to this. And then we're going to split. We have the float. We're going to actually right click and get capsule radius, uh, capsule radius. Ah, uh, there we go. We just want this one, the shape capsule radius. Oops. And we're going to plug that into the radius. The half height of the radius here. The actor location, the Z. We want to add, we want to check the, how big the character will be once they stand. So we know how much. So in here you can put the full standing height. So it's 96. And then we're going to add it to the end. I'm going to set mine for one frame just so I can see it. From the out it, we can pull out and type break. And then the blocking hit, we can put into the blocking hit and then connect these two up. So what this does is it will uh, spawn a capsule that is as tall as a character can be. If it hits anything, it will Say this is true. So what we can do here now is on completed, which is you've let go of the button. We're gonna pull this macro out. I'm just gonna rename it to standing check. We can pull this macro out, put it into completed. We're then going to branch by holding B and clicking. Connect that 
to the blocking hit. From the true, so that means we are hitting something. We're going to set timer by event. The time I'm going to get the world delta seconds and plug that in. And it will be looping. From event, we're going to pull down, add event, and add custom event. I'm going to call this Grouch Timer. And then what we want to do is we want to get the standing check again. We're going to branch again. And on this one, if this is false, so we are away from the spot where we can't stand up. We're going to pull from return value, clear and invalidate timer by handle. And if you want to remove one of these connections, you can hold, hold alt or you can hold control and grab and move it. So I'm going to plug that into false like that. Then we are going to get the gameplay tags, this, so we can either copy it or we can get it from here. We are going to remove gameplay tag and we're going to remove is crouched. Look at that. This is then going to plug into the reverse. So I'm going to move this over along and then plug that in. And from the false here, that's also going to plug into reverse. So now if I check, if I crouch, we crouch, I let go, we stand up. But if there is, for example, something above us, like let's add a, a cube like this, and let's see if we can crouch under this, we can, yep. So if I let go, you can see now we have a trace, we can't stand up. But then if I leave, we can stand up again. So quite a simple little um, thing, but it really adds. So because we've set the radius to our characters radius, it means we won't have an issue with like getting stuck inside objects or anything like that, because it only wants the capsules radius is fully out of the object. Will it work? So that's basically it. It's a very simple crouch and stand. So what I'll do now is if you don't, if you're using uh, Unreal Engine 4, so instead of uh, this, you could do, uh, we could search for like control, left control. And you would do, instead of adding a gameplay tag, you would actually promote a variable. So you would say like, is crouching to Julian. And then you would set that. So you would do is crouching goes into play and then released would go into here. And then instead of remove gameplay tag, you would get is crouching and you would set that to not and then plug that into the reverse. And then the same thing. Now you have it on the crouch. The same thing happens. So I hope that's been helpful. I'm going to release more tutorials. Uh, there's going to be some retro horror ones and FPS style ones like this. If you have any suggestions or things you want to see, leave me a comment. I hope you enjoy the video and see you next time.